Gupta. Sneha, I think you've pointed uh, the you know situation out very correctly by calling it Ram Bharosa because that's what the Amadmi Party is doing right now. Look, you have the facts on camera. The people are saying we complained to the administration. We raised the issue of the barrage overflowing, of there being leaks within the canal and the embankments. The administration did nothing about it. Saurabh Hardwaj himself is saying that this started happening last year. The repair had been initiated. Now, my simple question to the Amadmi Party representative is: If you had initiated the repair work, if you had identified a problem, how did you not factor in the rainy season? How did you not factor in the possibility that there might be excessive water that might overflow into the Bhavana area? And mind you, Bhavana also has an industrial area within it. So it's not just residential; it's also commercial. And people on both spectrums are suffering right now. But what do you have from them? They are blaming Haryana again. So yeah, look at the irony of things. There is excessive water in Delhi. Haryana is to be blamed. There is no water in Delhi. Haryana is to be blamed. There is no. Uh, there is a plumbing problem in Delhi. Haryana is to be blamed. There is a repair problem in Delhi. Haryana is to be blamed. I mean, you you are pointing it out very very correctly. It's all Ram Bharose when it comes to the Aam Aadmi Party. And the one question no one is asking in this hour of crisis. Even if we give Mrs. Zariwala the benefit of doubt and say it's an accident and there should be no political game, blame games, at least there must be accountability. Where is the chief minister? Who is the successor to the chief minister? Who is the go-to person in this hour of crisis from the Aam Aadmi Party government? We don't have any answers. There might be excessive rainfall tomorrow. There might be okay, flooding. Okay, before I go to Vimlendu Jha on this, Hoda Zariwala to you. Tushar Gupta has raised some questions. and you may blame him for politics but the truth is even the citizens are asking the same question and to add to what tushar gupta is asking and i will have the same nature of question for vimlendu jha as well but to add to what tushar gupta is asking hoda zariwal my question is if there were repair works that were initiated there's an iit in delhi there are iits across the country there are specialized institutions in the country can you tell me if there were tests that were done to see if the cracks could withstand the level of water the capacity of water and the excess rainfall all combined together we want to know if there were adequate scientific tests that were done to prove the tenacity yes absolutely there were ad adequate tests done why is mr tushar and the bjp forgetting that this entire a uh, department is the haryana irrigation department so if there was in fact a blame game to be happening the aap is rightly pointing fingers at the haryana irrigation department but i went over and about that and pointed that yes it is the amadmi party that also has taken due cognizance of the matter atishi ji saurabh bharadwaj ji the concerned mlas all of them are at the spot since yesterday this happened between uh, um, 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the night um the haryana team is there uh, there is the delhi jal board the mcd is there anybody and everybody could now help you know okay the matter for the citizens and make the place um, you know um, i mean clear the flood make the place livable uh, take my care question, of the my question who does arival is can you tell us if tests were done and yes, on what absolutely. basis are you saying that tests were done yes absolutely because this cracks done, happened last know. year sort of bhardwaj has made references to that repair works were initiated but it clearly could not withstand We don't I mean, even know whether it was completed. By the way, see if 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 you're talking about adequate tests, obviously they were done. But let us not also forget that if the BJP really wants to play this blame no, game, no, I don't know. It's not obvious, ma'am. I don't know. It's not obvious. What about? Uh, what we about don't know. Airport, it's not obvious, Huda Zariwal. With all due respect, you're free to say what you want to say, what but it's not obvious. Just a humble submission. The T one or the airport in Ayodhya or the airport in Indore or the airport in Bihar. You know, all of which was built under the BJP regime. that has collapsed the t1 has collapsed there's a person that's dead over there where adequate checks and balances is done over there no obviously not we are seeing collapse of airports this in fact is a matter that it was under the haryana irrigation department but still the aap is now okay. focused All on right. hoda zariwal i can very clearly see what you are doing and you are raising this issue tad bit late because when those incidents happened we questioned the government we questioned the center very and clearly right on so. that right but this is so. not about the t1 airport this is not about others we are talking about a very simple question which you are not answering we are asking what were the measures in place to ensure that the tenacity and the checks were done let me go across to vimlendu jha since you are not able to give us the answer